In this video lesson, we're going to continue our look at the event edit operations in Pro Tools for MIDI note editing. And this time we're going to check out select split notes. I really like this particular option when I'm working on drum tracks and I want to double a snare or layer a snare in part of a song or maybe layer a kick drum or something else. So in this example, we're going to layer the snare and the kick. So let's listen to what we've got. All right, it's kind of a stock pop drum pattern there. All right, um, let's see what notes we have here. And I've got some kicks, snares, hats. And here's the important part. I need to know the name of the note, C, D, E, F, G, etc. And I know, need to know the name of the octave that it is in. So here I am, here's the note C right there. And you'll notice there's the number one right there. That means I'm in the number one octave on my MIDI keyboard, okay? And the note here would be then C1. There's the note D, so D1. And then C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp. F sharp one is my hat note. And my goal here is going to be to layer or double both my snare and my kick with different drum kits. And we're going to try it a couple different ways, okay? So first, let's uh, just kind of show you some things you can do here. Let's grab all the notes in there. And what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to work on my snare drums, I'm going to get all notes between D1, and I'm typing that on my keyboard here, and D1. Now that I've got the notes selected, I can actually, let's just go highlight the track here, I can just hit the action select notes, and it just grabs the notes in that track. And can I, I can use the Command M, which is mute, to just mute those. So if I wanted to experiment and see what an intro would sound like with just kick and hat, could be that. So it's kind of fun to work with. Okay, I love I love the mute notes feature. I never have to erase anything. I can always get it back. Okay, let's uh, undo that. And get our track back. There we go. Okay. Now let's go to the split notes feature. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these to the clipboard now. In Pro Tools 12.6 here, it's been a little bit wonky. I may have to do a couple workarounds, but I, from what I've read online, in the new version 12.8 of Pro Tools, this should be fixed. So right now, I'm just going to copy these to the clipboard and paste the snare drums to my snare double track here. So let's see how it goes. All right. um, just select all the notes, because I know I'm going to copy all the notes between D1 and D1, so just that one note. Okay. Let's go split notes, copy to the clipboard. Now let's see if they paste. If not, there may be a workaround here. So let's go ahead, snare double, and go to my edit, and is paste available? There it goes. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mute this, and I've already got another drum kit assigned to that. So let's go ahead and, all right. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just go ahead and Command E, separate region, okay? Command E, separate region, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that and now let's put the two kits together and see how it sounds when that second snare comes in okay so i'm building the track cool all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use another feature to kind of accomplish the same thing but i'm going to let pro tools do even a little bit more work for me i'm going to now double the kick so let's just go and get the kick notes for where we want to double. So it's again, we'll have the, you know, the, the, the intro with the, just the plain kit, the original kit right there. And then we'll layer with uh, a, a second snare and a second kick right there. All right, so I remember that my kick drum notes are the notes C1. So all notes between, and you can play it on your keyboard too. I'll tap it out on my MIDI controller, C1 and C1, okay? And I could grab, you know, both the snares and the kicks and, and, and so notes between C1, D1. I can, any combination I want. It's all, it all works, okay? So let's go ahead and scoot that up. Scoot that up there a little bit. And now I'm going to copy to a new track. And now I've got the kick drums there. And I'll go ahead and I will... Go ahead over here, and I'll name that um, Kicks. And I'm going to use the, I'll name it Boom, because that's the name of the drum virtual instrument I'm going to use. And I'll go over here, 
to my mix window and I'll bring in boom. And there's a uniform note assignment so that I know that any note C1, when I'm use assigning it to drum computers or drum virtual instruments, it's going to give me a kick drum. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly go to the Urban 2 because I, I know that's kind of going to work. Okay? There we go. Now let's go check that out. Now that we've got our snare and our kick double, go to clips. Here we go. So I'm really starting to build that track and add some excitement for my listener. Now, as you've seen me work here, you'll notice that I've got some other options besides copy. I can copy. I can also cut. So if I wanted to, let's say, take all the notes, uh, take the kick drums out of this original track, I could use the cut feature. I could, uh, you know, just cut them and then, you know, have them go to a new track. Or I can actually, if I want to, if I know I'm going to double all the drums just real easily, if I know I'm going to do that in advance, I can either copy or cut all notes to a new track per pitch. So now watch this. It's going to take the kick, the snare, and the hat, so the D, the C1, the D1, and the F sharp one, and put them all to new tracks per pitch. And then I can assign uh, and work with different drum virtual instruments on those tracks as well. So lots of flexibility with split notes and select notes. Really, really a great feature. I use this a ton when I'm working with drum notes. So hope you'll have fun with it, and I'll see you in the next video lesson.